Hello, here I want to show you an effective farming route for goblins. In particular if you're looking for menagerie goblins for the pets or rainbow goblins for the cosmic wings which I still haven't gotten myself though. I'm using normal mode because the spawning rates for goblins aren't affected by difficulty. So um, I just want to breathe through. I don't need items um, on my crusader. I don't need XP. So, um, but you can of course use a higher difficulty. Just make sure you can breathe through enemies. You want to be using a fast-moving class. So here I'm using a bombardment thorns crusader, and steed charge is using the endurance rune for enhanced duration, and I'm using loss of hopes with Wings of Angels for also for enhanced movement speed. We will be using locations in Act 1 and 3 and we'll be starting with Lyric's Passage. So we go to the old ruins and we just run past everything. And as soon as our skills have cooled down, just use them again. Sometimes the goblins right here at the entrance, mostly they seem to be up Not here. Light, light be and sometimes I also had them here next to the table. Not in this case. So we can leave just to gotta get rid of the enemies. A hard fight. Time to loot. Next area will be the Northern Highlands which consists of two parts. The check, uh, the, not the checkpoint, the waypoint will normally be to the left of the level. Sometimes you have it to the right, more or less right next to the right side of the path. Um, go along the outlines and here it will always look the same about the middle. Up here you will have uh, the entrance to Leoric hunting grounds. Not yet. Continue past the outlines. They're summoning reinforcements. Well, that's that. Make sure to grab shrines because you could always get one with enhanced movement speed to make it a bit faster. And as you can see, we are ready yet. rather unlucky this time. No goblin here, so we can go back to the Northern Highlands. And continue along the outlines. Okay, the areas are so small, we would have hurt the goblin. So we don't have to clear the small dark spots left. Um, one single time I had a goblin spawn here on this path, but normally they will be in the main areas. Same applies here. Continue along the outlines. Here's already the entrance to the Cave of the Moon Clan, which will be the next area to farm, but let's clear the map first. And don't get frustrated if you are as unlucky as I am at the moment with no goblins. That. 
the area will always have a middle area where I never had a goblin spawn. It's either like here, the Lyceum, or a Khazra area that has either the Garbat the Weak bounty or or event or the Chupa Khazra. Um, very seldomly I also had the Cursed Shrine, but you really don't need to go into that area. At least in my experience, because I never had a single goblin spawn there. Okay. That's it for the Southern Highlands, so we can continue on to the Cave of the Moon Clan. Both levels can actually spawn a goblin. Oh, there we are. Unfortunately, the wrong one. Okay, path forks here, so let's check the other area first to clear the whole map. Ah, we don't have to. It ends there. I'm probably taking... Not ready yet. Yeah, definitely the route towards the exit, so let's check out the other area first. There we are. Yeah, normally you don't have a shrine on the way um, or to the dead to the dead end, so if you have a shrine you can normally be sure it's the way to the exit. This will always be a dead end, but there could be a goblin, but I don't think we will have one. No, we don't. So we can finish the Act 1 areas if you are only farming for goblins. If you want the Live Moor pet, it drops from an enemy in the Weeping Hollow, but I will be ignoring this in case of this video because here we continue on to Act 3 where we have three areas to farm. We're starting with the Tower of the Damned where we'll be farming both levels. Again, just running through. Not ready yeah, yet. there we are. And it's a Treasure Goblin. All the tower levels are rather short, have um, just a few differing layouts. I think it's even just two um, for the different levels, so very easy to farm, very easy to run through. And also a bit frustrating if you don't get goblins. Always make sure with the the Act 3 levels that you continue on to the very exit of the level because very often the goblin will only sp spawn just at the stairs right next to the exit. 
So we're done here and we will continue on to the Tower of the Cursed. It's been interesting for me to see all of these places. Also farming both levels here. Another one and another treasure goblin. Not yet, like chaff before the wind. So this level is definitely the smallest. You can directly continue on to level two. Which has two different layouts either you circle this direction with the shrine at the beginning or you start in the opposite direction but that's about it so really no no way of getting lost here not ready yet Yeah, not lucky here. And we go on to the last area, which is the core of Ariad. Where you can definitely just breathe through. Of course thorns help here, so like I said, just use a build that lets you speed and breathe through everything. Okay, so no goblin here, but if I'm not wrong, we um, we got three goblins, so you know the route. Um, don't forget about the Weeping Hollow if you are looking for the Liv Moor pad. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments. So thanks for watching.